Anytime I'm doing an arm bar, whether it's him standing, right, or he's on his knees, right, I don't have to always move myself 90 degrees. Particularly if he's standing up, a lot more spring in, in his hips that I can play with. And so when I get to here, even if I don't move much, I can create an angle of 90 by controlling it with my hips. All right? So use your legs more. It's frame of reference. If I come up and I move and I try to turn him and I move 45 degrees and he moves the other 45 degrees, that's great. Or if I come up and by trying to turn him, I move myself the 90 degrees, then it will work. Right? We, you're not so concerned about how you or he moves with respect to the mat. What you're concerned about is if the sum of how you guys move together or the reference of your hips with respect to his body makes that angle. Alright? So try and think spatially with respect to him and not with respect to the mat. And that's going to help you to work things. You're not going to be so worried, oh, can I move my shoulders enough? Don't worry about that. You look at the situation. Are we at the right angle? No. I'm going to try to make him move, and I'm going to move. Whichever happens first, great. You're just looking for a hole, punch through, and, and get, get the technique. That said, if I'm trying to do this armbar, and my feet are underneath him, how much lifting can I get from here? I can pick him up, yes, but how much lift can I get with my hips? Not as much. So I'm going to actually creep up more. It's like I'm holding on to him. And my heel and my toes now play like a, a hook, a harpoon. Right? Back to the squid analogy. Boom. Hook. I'm hooked on him. Now you see my toes, right? See how they're catching his butt? Right? I don't even need my hands at this point because I'm using my feet nicely. Alright? So try and use your feet smart. If I'm down here, this is a lifting technique. Lifting him. If I'm up here, now I'm more pulling. And that's what I need for the armbar. So go ahead, try it again. 